I want to talk about this very serious subject that I don't believe anybody has the courage to speak about because it makes you look really bad. I want to talk about doctors flagging people's unjustly and unfairly flagging your medical record and making trouble for you and making false claims about you. You know, I'm choking back tears. There are so many good, lovely, kind, highly empathic people out there, you know, looking for help and spilling their spilling their hearts out to these doctors and stuff, right? So I I was seeing this doctor. She was a psychiatrist. I last time I saw her, I think was 10 years ago. And this is still happening. This is happening to people all the time. This abuse of power. So she had me on, um, I think at least five medications. And I had been with her for a few years. And the, the longer I was with her, the sicker I got. And, you know, I eventually started to say, you know, I think the medications are making me sicker. Like, I think maybe I need... I, I said to her, you know, I'm I'm really compliant. I, I'm a really compliant patient, uh, you know. But I'll also ask questions. This is my body. This is my life. And I'm suffering, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to hold back with asking questions. And she was adding so many medications and removing medications. I don't believe she knew anymore what, what she was doing. And I said... You know, I think at this point, you're adding so, you're adding th medications while removing medications. I'm having so many symptoms. I'm in distress. I'm having side. I don't think at this point anybody could distinguish between side effects and s medication symptoms. Uh, you know, emotional symptoms. I don't think anyone could even discern this situation anymore because it's such a mess. There's too many medications happening, right? They will hate you when you ask reasonable, sensible questions, right? They don't want to be challenged. This is your life that's falling apart. You can't function. But we're dealing, you know, we're dealing with ego. We're dealing with someone who, people who don't want to be, they see that as a challenge when you're trying to troubleshoot to get well, right? Anyways, I could look and I've got my medical records here. I could see how many medications I was on, but I started to be concerned that I was actually sick from the medications and that it wasn't mental illness, right? I was just suffering so bad from, you know, um, anxiety, depression, severe brain fog, severely, you know, I couldn't, keep a train of thought, ADHD. I had post-it notes all over the walls, um, not sleeping, um, seasonal affective disorder, premenstrual dysphoria disorder, um, sleepwalking, severe sleepwalking, severe sleep eating, um, just a mess, right? Just, and, you know, sleeping three hours a night, really struggling. And, 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 and I, I'm going to speak about this. She, the sleep issue was severe. Again and again, I was so medicated. I was being over-medicated for the sleep to the point where I, you know, couldn't walk and talk and I'm sliding down the walls and I'm hanging onto the walls as I'm sliding down, struggling to breathe, but I'm not sleeping. Like, in retrospect, I I understand now that I was suffering from respiratory depression from the medications and undiagnosed apnea that no one could figure out. And so I do believe I was over-medicated time and time again. And um, this doctor diagnosed me with sleep-related eating disorder. She told me she consulted with a couple other doctors and this is what they came up with. So I walked around for years 
spouting off to people, you know, and believing I have this rare sleep disorder called sleep related eating disorder. That was a total misdiagnosis. Another thing with her, um, she was giving me this drug to sleep with, raising the dose, raising the dose. And I'm saying, no, we have to stop. Like uh, my body is going to rip. We have to stop. No, she didn't want to stop. She was convinced if she kept raising the dose and raising the dose that this drug was going to help me. I said, no, we have to stop. I'm in pain. I'm going to rip. I ripped in three places. My, I had three abdominal tears and three hernias. My body ripped. Like this is a medical injury, right? I, I'm ripping apart from prescribing. And you know what? I was respectful. I was compliant. I never told anybody about those things. I wasn't running around slandering her. And I'm saying to her, we need to, I think we need, I think the medications are making me sicker and sicker. I think, you know, we need to, no, she didn't want to de-prescribe. I show up for my appointment. I show up for my, my next appointment with her. This is a woman I trusted. We had children the same age. Our kids would, during our appointments, my, during my appointments with her, our kids would be calling us on our cell phones, asking for money, asking to use, you know, can I use the credit card today? It's a woman that I, I trusted, right? I trusted this person with my life and with my, my health, with my brain, with my physical health. I showed up for my regular appointment and, and this is horrific and this is happening to people out there. I showed up for my regular appointment. The secretary says to me, oh, well, she's not your doctor anymore. I said, what? And I'm really sick. I'm really medicated and, and I'm really not managing well and I'm not sleeping, right? And... She looks at me and says, oh, well, she's not your doctor anymore. And I said, what? Of course she's my doctor. She's been my doctor for years. Oh, she's not your doctor anymore. I said, yes, she is. What are you talking about? She said, if you don't get out of here right now, we're going to call the police. I was just shocked. I was just floored. My jaw dropped open. I was in a state of shock. But I also knew if I protested, they were threatening me with the police. I've never been violent. I've never flown off the handle. I was being labeled as potentially dangerous. I knew if I stood there and protested at this injustice and this abuse of power, that I could, the police could come and lock me up. I stood out in the street. I was just in a state of shock. I mean, this could potentially push someone over the edge, someone who's on a half a dozen medications, right? The betrayal of this, the horror and betrayal. I couldn't even phone there to talk to my doctor. Severe betrayal of trust. Severe abuse of power. Me leaving and not understanding, now I'm marked. Now there's a mark on my medical record for potential violence. I was set up. Rather than this woman say to me kindly and respectfully, you know what? I mean, our, our treatment seems to have come to a halt and I, you know, I don't really know what to do anymore. Maybe it might benefit you to find another phys physician. She pulled this dirty trick on me and this was obviously pre-planned, right? This is happening out there. And you think that's the end of it, but you don't realize they've flagged your, your medical record now. 
now you're flagged for flagged that you're you have a potential for violence or aggression when you've never ever displayed that you can't remove that from your record and what that flagging does on your medical record now as you move forward in the future you're you're moving forward on a this is more than 10 years later and it doesn't end this the prejudice against you the the stigma unleashed on you this does not end and you can't get this off your medical record and they add to it it becomes compounded unjust this is abuse this is targeting a patient you're setting up you're setting up a patient for just injustice throughout every throughout all of the healthcare system you've been flagged you see other people waiting in the ER for 2 hours you've been there for 11 hours this is just total injustice and this is you know this isn't one just one doctor if you're speaking up about your care if you have concerns about your your care you you're asking questions you're trying to troubleshoot but you're being viewed as being challenging or 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 being a problem you can get flagged for numerous different things maybe i'll do a video about that numerous different things they can target you and flag you for and it is it is medical harm as you get sick as you, when you're physically ill this is still being used against you when you're in medical crisis when you're in the ERs in hospitals this is this is on your record everywhere and it's being used against you